Hello and welcome to my video. This is your host, Lewis Laughlin. We're going to be looking at using the Easy Driver Micro Stepper with an Arduino or a Microchip Pick. Be sure to visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. Easy Driver is essentially a circuit board. It's sold by uh, SparkFun and a few other people, or you can buy it. Um, off of eBay. What's going to make this different in this video is I'm going to show you how to hook up external circuitry to significantly um, increase power output. Instead of driving a stepper motor directly, we're going to be using Easy Driver to drive higher power circuitry. This way we can really operate really heavy stepper motors but still get all of the electronic advantages of the advanced features of this board. Just as a quick rundown, it's based on the Allegro A3967 micro-stepping driver. Compatible with four, six, or eight wire stepper motors, it operates exclusively in the two-phase or uh, bipolar mode. It does have an adjustment on the board from uh, 150 to 750 milliamps per phase. What that means, we're only going to get 750 mils maximum. You're not going to be able to drive the 1.1 uh, amp at 5 volt motor that I'll be driving in this demo. The power supply range is from 7 volts to 30 volts. Um, off in the center of the picture, you can see a picture. It's a red circuit board. It has a uh, built-in 5-volt regulator. Here's the A3967. There's an adjustable pot here. Um, it's well made. I bought one. I thought I would see what I could do that nobody else had been doing, and that's what we're going to demonstrate. Over here to your right shows the typical hookup for a stick, six wire stepper motor. They left the uh, two center tap connections disconnected and of course A and B connects to wires. Your motor input is supposed to be 7 to 30 volts and then you're going to put it on ground. Um, it shows your step and direction. It doesn't. I'm going to go over the other pins on here. It will operate on the input it will operate on 3 or 5 volts depending on where you solder a little I believe it's right there in that corner you can jumper that here's a closer up look at the board again here's your ground and 5 volts well it's the same ground as over here on the power in it says 6 to 30 volts in this this is the version 4.4 .4. But notice your other pins. Here, of course, here's your motor coil connections. That should be a PFD, not PDF, and reset. We're not going to be using those anyway. What we will be using is the enable, an MS1, and MS2. Sleep, um, you could tie it off to a VCC. A low on sleep will put the whole circuitry into low power. If we go up here on enable, it actually should be enable not. A low on enable um, allows you to have output, but if it's tied to high and left there, the motor is turned off. I believe on the board itself, it's tied through a resistor to low. So you could leave the pin hanging. I'm not going to do that. MS1 and MS2 allows me to uh, select what stepping mode I want. It could be full step, half step, quarter step, or one eighth step. Down here you have a ground. It's the same as the motor negative and the ground over here. You have your step input and that's from a uh, I think a high to low transition. We'll step it um, and here's your direction. If it's low it goes one way. If it's high it goes the other. Note that when you hook a coil or whatever to these outputs, uh, you can swap 
the coil pairs and, ch and reverse the direction. Here is the first uh, part of the demo that I'm going to be showing right after this. Here is, the, here is my Easy Stepper. Um, this shows you the uh, MS1 and 2 inputs. This is for a unipolar motor hookup. I'm using four driver transistors. They're TIP120 Darlingtons. The resistors are 1K to 2.2K. And here is your connections out here for your unipolar stepper motor. Not a lot to it, so let us uh, take a look at this in action working with the motor. Over here, of course, this is the connections to the Arduino digital pins. All right, what you're seeing here is an Arduino Mini connected to uh, Easy Driver in addition to my uh, tr um, high power transistor driver board we are driving a bipolar stepper motor whose current requirements far exceed what an uh, easy driver can supply it takes over an amp per winding simple to program I can program the uh, steps and resolution off of about, oh, I don't know, six lines out of the Arduino. This includes being able to cut the board on and off, putting it into sleep, or doing very precise stepping. Let's focus in on the main driver board and a little closer look at the stepper itself. You can see the activity LEDs on the driver board. What you sort of need to note is uh, you notice that each time the uh, motor is rotating 360 degrees. What's been programmed into Arduino is the number of steps required. This particular motor requires 200 steps for 360 degrees or 1.8 degree per step. In the full step mode I would need Arduino to produce 200 iterations to get 360 degrees. Then I switch it over to half step which will require 400 iterations to go 360 degrees. Then I uh, switch it over to quarter step which will require 800 iterations in order to produce go 360 degrees. Finally, I go to eighth step, which requires 1600 iterations to move 360 degrees. Now, think about divide 360 by 1600, and that's how far you can move each step of that stepper motor. You can't get much more precise with a piece of mechanical equipment than that. And as long as I keep the steps um, in the correct multiples, if you haven't been noticed, it keeps coming back to the same spot. You also notice that there is a pause where the LEDs are going off between every change in um, direction and steps. That's the enable output that you can program to shut off the output completely while you're changing the uh, number of steps or other parameters you want to program into the chip. This is valuable because if you don't do that, you could leave some of the coils locked on during the change, which will create inaccuracies and it overheats the drivers and the motor. Remember what a stepper motor, you can lock it, but if you lock it for a long time, it gets hot. 
And remember that a, a stepper motor is still an electromechanical device. It has inductance. So one of the reasons you have this motor being 5 volts at 1.1 amps is because of its low inductance allows it to be um, incremented very quickly. High inductance motors are limited on that. So it's sort of a playoff that the engineers will do. If it's a high inductance motor, you cannot spin it as fast because you've got delays and lags due to inductive reactants. But if you want low inductance, uh, you're, uh, you're going to end up with, uh, of course, a lower impedance. But, and that's going to uh, require more current. So it's a playoff. But as you see, it's just spinning away around here. Fairly simple program. And that's about all I have on it. I'll show you a little bit more, but you can find out all the details on this at my website, www.bristolwatch.com.